Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Budget Bermuda Triangle deck profile for post Twinkle Melody. With the release of the Twinkle Melody Extra Booster set, we were given new support for a bunch of different variety decks for Bermuda Triangle as a clan for standard format. So I wanted to go ahead and go through with my Ber Budget Bermuda Triangle deck, which focuses on the main unit, which is Clear Appeal Serity, and also focusing on my old Budget Bermuda deck that focused on the power up with the use of Troubled Veridol Preziv as well, a unit that you can use up to 16 copies of in a deck. So using the power of Serity and these two cards together, you can hit for some pretty immense rear guard power pluses. So that's going to be our focus for the budget deck this time around and all the support that came with Serity in the latest booster set for quite an affordable uh, Bermuda Triangle deck for those of you just looking to see what the deck has to offer with play styles. Let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the main grade three units, I'm running three clear appeal Serity. Now this card can always be bumped up to four by just adjusting your numbers for the next grade three that we run in the deck, or even dropping some of your grade two countdown uh, to lower numbers for a fourth copy of this card. But it's your main go-to Vanguard Circle unit. On Vanguard Circle, once per turn, you counter bless one, choose one of your units, search your deck or drop zone for up to one card with the same card name uh, as that unit, reveal it, put it into your hand. And if you search your deck, shuffle your deck, and on Vanguard, when your rear guard attacks, you can reveal any number of cards from your hand with the same card name as the attacking unit, and it gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn for each card revealed. So it's quite a scary skill, just with our next card, which I'll go over in just a bit, for the power pluses, all depending on just how many of that unit you have in your hand, but you're able to search out multiple copies of that unit with clear appeal serity, and you're not only limited to the grade three, but you have other cards you can benefit with this skill in the deck, including our grade two unit, Cerulean Jewelry Faceve, as well for that option but once again this is the one you want to have mostly on your vanguard circle because it also has the imaginary gift force marker unlike our next grade three unit which i don't say often but i am running 10 copies of this card in the deck you can have up to 16 copies but that's how i originally had it when i did my budget bermuda triangle deck last time running this as the full powerhouse card and the main unit to go on the vanguard circle as well but with serity we have a better option for that card with this one troubled veridol oppressive you may have up to 16 of this card in your deck but like i said i'm running 10 copies i feel that's plenty enough with all the different search power you can do with serity and on vanguard or rear when it attacks or is attacked you can reveal any number of troubled veridol oppressive from your hand and this unit gets plus 1000 until end of battle for each card revealed so along with your serity attacking on rear guard with this card means you can hit for multiple 10,000 powers depending on how many of this card you were able to search out which should be plenty using this card just to build it up and then having other options of just protecting this card on rear if your opponent were to try to attack into it reducing your opponent's uh shield guard by basically bumping up this card's own power on the field to great heights with just having more and more of this card in your hand to use and that'll be the main play style you go into and even if your opponent does retire the one on the field as long as you have another one to go into you should still have other multiple copies in your hand that you obviously don't want to use for guarding by dropping a sentinel cost but still uh, you know even just having three in your hand is a 30,000 power boost with clear appeal serity on the vanguard circle and then that is it for the grade threes it's a pretty big grade three count but with the main focus being just having a lot of the oppressive built up in your hand and serity on the vanguard circle it's a pretty straightforward uh setup for the grade threes but still a good look at what some of the fun you can have with different bermuda triangle decks for the grade two units we're running four cerulean jewelry faceve with this one it is a vanguard or rearguard when attack hits a vanguard search your deck or drop zone for up to one cerulean jewelry jewelry if receive reveal it put into your hand if you search your decks shuffle your deck and then a rear guard once per turn when it attacks uh discard two cerulean faceve from your hand to stay on this unit and draw two cards so not only could you potentially draw into more uh fist pressive with your draw power in this having this as the other option for your rear guard circle you can then use faceve for more uh search power and also rely on serity for searching out the other copy you may need of this card having the discard two for the cost of this after searching out this as the preferred card and then just drawing into the oppressive like we spoke of before 
And I also run for a more affordable option being fully reprinted in the latest set for Choco Love Heart Le Solette. On Vanguard or Rear, one place, look at the top card of your deck and call it to Rear and put, or put it into your soul. This ability may only be used by a card with the same card name once a turn, but it's a great setup card because there's a good chance with the top card of your deck being revealed being one of your go-to grade three units. Then you can save the other cards in your hand to power that unit up. And from the hand, it can be called as a grade one, just meaning for more early game call out from the hands after having your grade one ride target having this card in your hand you can call it out and have the bigger attack power or even just defense against your vanguard against your opponents and then for the last of the grade two units i run two top idol aqua on vanguard or rear during your turn if you have another unit in the same column as this unit it gets plus five thousand power and on vanguard or rear when placed you return one of your other normal units to rear guard from to your hand if you return a card draw a card and discard a card and then this ability will be used by a card the same name once a turn but the draw power is good also just being able to return an additional pressive let's say you have on the rear guard to then better power up another one on the field after you're set up with serity is just good for that power boost and also for the fact that having another grade one uh, for the boost in this column along with depending on what imaginary gift force you want to use with most of the time and with the power boost we get from serity i prefer to go with imaginary gift force 2 having the fifteen thousand power with this alone and one of our rear guards means for a pretty high attack power with this card alone against our opponent and then also being a promo box topper it was much more affordable great two option than some of the triple rare options we had from the newest set that is it for the grade twos. Moving on to the grade ones, running four of the final support for Serity being Heart Fragrance Leash on rear guard. When placed, if your Vanguard is clear, PL Serity, Karen plus one, Soul plus one, choose two normal units from your drop zone. If they have the same card names, return them to the hand. This ability may only be used by a card name once a turn. So even with the discard power off a of top idol aqua, if you discard a pressive, you can just add it back to your hand with leash, most of the time being able to reveal at least two from your drop zone, whether you damage zone them or just had to drop them for other uh, cards like let's even say if you had to resort to dropping them for a sentinel being able to add them back to our hand with heart fragrance makes it all the better because it's the main use for our counter blasting in the deck as well a lot aside from the once per turn serity but it's just a one of counter blast and nothing else in the deck really has to rely on counter blasting as much as these cards and then I also run four Distinguished Wink Radka. This is draw power. When attack hits, draw a card while on the Vanguard Circle. And on rear, retire this unit. Look at two cards on the top of your deck. Put one from among them into your hand and one from among them into your drop zone. But more drop zone setup to work with our other grade one we run in the deck. And other setup is just adding the card to your hand, which, like I said, this card takes up... 20% uh, of the deck. So having this as a good chance, you'll see it with either the draw power, if not setting up in the drop zone for the other grade one we spoke of. And then lastly, for the grade ones, being another affordable uh, box topper promo, I run two Mermaid Idol Sedna. It's grade three search power. You want to search out plenty of these, but you still want to have the go-to ride target as well, being Serity to your hand. So having the grade one searcher to search the card out from your hand uh, to add is a big help there for sure. If you wanted to add an additional fourth copy of Serity into the deck, you can take out one of the copies of Lissolette or even drop one of the pressives, but I do like the 10 of count so more likely the lissolette to three and putting a fourth copy of serity would be the best option there and then for the trigger units, I'm running one uh, Shizuku, just the newest starter, so the easiest one to get from the latest booster set. And then also for the trigger lineup, I'm going eight critical. So four Lover Hope Rena and four uh, Pelia for the pressure you can do with the eight critical, along with going Imaginary Gift Force 2 and just the immense power you get off of Pressive on Rear Guard with Serity. And then I also run four Glittery Baby Lean. This is a actually a pretty affordable Sentinel. I think it's only around a dollar right now, last I checked. Might change later on, but uh, at the time when this video came out, quite affordable for those looking to build Bermuda since it was a reprinted Sentinel. And I do prefer it over the 30k critical trigger for this deck just for the fact that you do have plenty of discard power and you're going to have a lot of grade threes in your hand that you can't guard with. So better to just have a guaranteed guard against your opponent than having to event, uh, you know, invest plenty of other different triggers in your deck onto the field. And then lastly for the heel, just the four copies of Handmade Lover Elena to finish off just the preferred style for this deck. I definitely felt it matched up with all the other uh, Bermuda Triangle units for this budget build. 
And then the preferred setup, like I said, is having Serity on your Vanguard Circle with a Pressive on the Rear Guard Circle, and then your additional Grade 2 being one of your setup cards, and then being able to search out whichever one you need if you have plenty of uh, Faceive in your hand or plenty of numbers of Pressive built up in your hand thanks to Serity. You can hit for um, you know, up to and more power just with the 10,000s of each copy you reveal off this card. So going for Imaginary Gift Force 2 is definitely your go-to option there. And then also having the Reese stand power with Faceive means you can clear out your opponent's uh, rear guard circles and then attack with the immense power oppressive having the additional critical and any additional critical triggers you would have gotten off of your drive check with Serity since your main focus will not be when the vanguard attacks but when this rear guard with the immense power attacks thanks to the rear guard attack revealing any number of cards in your hand and getting that power boost and it also works great because it's not a once per turn so even if you're a Faceive attacks and you have those numbers in your hand to use before the discard it helps for the plus 20 power boost and then you can do the restand with this card as well because it, it gets the plus 10,000 power until the end of turn for each card revealed so this card will still retain the power boost after it restands and then able to attack again but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. Definitely been doing a lot of Bermuda, but if you have any requests for any budget decks that you would like to see for Card Fight Vanguard standard format, I know we have the D format starting in April as well, and I'll definitely be looking into that set. But until then, I'll be sticking to standard just to update everyone with the current decks we have for the format. And until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira, Qualia, out.